Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another video. So this will be an overview video of the module contacts. As you all know, contacts is very important and essential to manage and for every organization, that is every field, everywhere, maintaining contacts is really important. And I know it's very hard to do all the things which are related to these contact management. So Odoo is presenting before you a module called contacts module where you can efficiently manage these contacts. You can, you know, create a contact and you can add so much more inside the contact text just by using the configuration menu of the Odoo 17 contacts module. So yeah, let's begin without wasting any time. Okay guys, so now let's move on to the contacts module and see what all is hidden inside it. So here's the contacts module, I'm opening it and the only two menus which you can find inside the contact module is the contacts as well as the configuration. So first I'll take you through the configuration and it is from where from this configuration we are taking things into the contact creation. Okay, so here's the configuration and the first thing which comes under configuration is contact tags. Okay, so here we have the contact tags and these tags can basically be used inside the contact creation. So here you have tags like consulting services, employees, prospects, service vendor and so on. So as I said before, tags are basically things which are used for easy identification. Okay, so if you're creating a contact and if you're giving the tag as employees, you can get an idea that that person is an employee or something is related to an employee. Okay, so similarly you can create a contact tag, I'm creating a contact tag as consulting services, okay, and uh, you can also choose a color for it, so here by default, so sorry, there's a spelling mistake, I'm correcting it, now here's a color, you can change the color to whatever you need, so I'm putting some random color, and if you want to put it under a parent category, that is you can easily put this tag under an existing tag, Okay, so you already have this consulting services. So I'm putting this consulting services, I mean service under consulting services or simply we'll change the name to service. Okay, and I'm saving it. And if you want this to be active, you have to enable this radio button. So that's done. Okay, so that's how you create a contact tag. Now, just, you know, make sure you remember all these names okay tag we've created as service now we'll be using this inside the contact module so that's the contact tags then we have this website tags okay so this is the website tag where you can create new tags now this will be used in case of websites okay these contacts will be viewed in website as well so here we can create a new tag so i'm creating new web tag and here you can choose the class, whether it's a light, primary, success, warning or danger, whatever it is, whether you want it as a success message, a warning message, a danger message, a primary or light, whatever it is, you can choose that from here, okay? So I'm putting light itself and saving it. So if, whether if it's published or not, you have to mention it here. You can see a checkbox is there. Once you check it, it means it is published. And if you don't do that, means it's not published. Okay, so that's how you create the website tags and then we have the contact titles. So contact titles are basically how you address that contact. Okay, if I'm creating a contact, I'm also giving a title for that person. That is how I'm going to address that person. It can, uh, for example, it can be, you know, Mr, Mrs, Doctor, Teacher, whatever it is. So those contact titles are created over here. And for that title, you can create an abbreviation as well. So if it's a, a like, if the title is Doctor, means you'll have this abbreviation DR. Okay, so if it's Mr, you have this abbreviation MR. So similarly, you can create any titles and for that particular title, you have, you, I mean, you can create an abbreviation correspondingly. So that's the contact title. I'm not creating a new one because we, it's, it's a very simple thing and we have so much uh, titles which are already created here. As you can see, Madam, Miss, Mr, Professor and so on. Okay, so that's how you create a contact title and then you have the industries. Okay, so you can choose the industries that is while you're creating a contact, you can, you know, provide which industry this person belongs to. Okay, it can either be an entertainment, education industry, and also you can set a full name for it. Okay, so this is how you create it, give the name as well as the full name. Okay, so that's the industries. And then you have the localization section where you have this countries. Okay, so you'll be having all the countries over here. You can see the country, country code, and you have this interest at numbers as well as use on eBay. Okay, so all these things are given here. We can't create a new one here because it's already there in your system. And then you have the Fed states. 
So here you have the state name, state code and country as well. Now if you want to create a new state means you can simply click on new, give the name of the state, the state code as well as the country to which that state belongs to. Okay. So that's the fed state and then you have the cities. So you can choose the city as well. I'm going to create a new city. So give the name of the city. I'm giving it as Calicut. And then you can add a zip code for the city, the country to which the city belongs to and the state to which it belongs to. See, I've created a new city. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then you have the country group. You can create that. It can be European country, you know, Asian country. Similarly, if you have, I mean, you want to create a new country group, means you can mention that country group over here. So here you have this European Union, South America, SEPA countries, Gulf Cooperation Council, similarly. A country group can be created over here. It's very simple to create. Click on new. Give the name of the country. That is the group name. And then you have the countries which are coming under that particular name. So if I give Asian, Asian countries. And here you have the option to choose the countries. Okay, so countries can be India. And I can give China. Japan. All these will come under Asian countries. So similarly, you can add all those countries. And if you want to add any particular price list for this country group, okay? So setting price list for country groups can all be done like this way. So set the price list name over here, the policy, whatever it is, you can choose it over here and then use it, okay? So that's the country group. I'm simply saving it. So that's the country groups. Now you have the bank accounts where you have banks as well as bank accounts. So here's the banks. So you can see the name of the banks as well as the bank identifier code. Similarly, you can also provide the country name. So click on new. Here's the name of the bank. So I'm putting new bank, the bank identifier code. So I'm giving a code for it. And then you can specify the bank address. Okay, and this can be used in contacts. Similarly, you have the bank accounts where you can add account number details. And I mean, details of the account uh, corresponding to any person like it can be an account number bank company account holder and if it's able to send money means you'll have to enable that one as well so that's the bank accounts and these are the things which comes under the configuration section now let's see using all these things how to create a contact okay so here's the contact module i mean the contacts menu sorry and here you have all the contacts which are pre-created which is shown in the canvan view so you know what canvan view is it's simply a card like view now inside each card you have the name of the employee the photo of that person i mean sorry not the employee the contact okay then you have the picture of that person the address details the mail and also towards each card you have the symbol which is to schedule an activity or show the activities corresponding to that contact okay so this can be viewed in list view also so this is the list view where you have the name phone email salesperson activities city country and company then you have the map view of the same so this will be the map view where you get the contacts and if you want to view this in google maps that can also be viewed so this is basically locating new addresses it takes time to load okay so here you can see all the addresses and in the map you can simply drag and zoom into it and see the different you know contacts okay just by scrolling you can see these icons okay and then you have the option to schedule activity you know how to schedule an activity right so click on schedule activity and whatever the activity is and choose the person for whom you are going to create an activity so i'm choosing abigail And here you can schedule the activity. You can choose the activity type. Click on schedule. So that's done. See, this is how you schedule an activity for a corresponding contact. Okay. Now let's go and create a new contact. Clicking on new. Now we've talked about the uh, contact creation, employee creation, uh, you know, the vendor creation, customer creation and all. Everything is basically the same form. But the thing is that the role changes. Okay. So this contact can also be an individual or a company. Okay, so let it be an individual. So I'm putting the name as John and the company name, that is the company to which this person belongs to. Okay, so we have a lot of company there under the drop down. So you can choose whatever it is. If you want to search for more options, you have the search more over there. See, you have these much things. So I'll put him under open wood. 
okay so he's under open wood and as you have noticed once you choose the company the contact details the you know of accounting details and all will be auto uh, occupied because they'll be taking the details of the parent company okay now here you have the company the contact and here you can specify the tax id for that person then you have the job position of this person so i'm putting as sales director then you can mention the phone number mobile number email id and also the website and here is the title which i uh, which we've been talking about that is the way we are going to address this person so i'll put mr sorry see here we have mr so we are going to call him mr that is we are going to address this person as this title and then you have the option to choose the language and here you have the tags so this is the tags which we created first that is we created services right so click on this here you can see the one which we created that is service is a tag which we created under the tag consulting services so that is added over here now here you have the contacts and addresses where you can add multiple address for a single contact so click on add over there now you have these much options like contact invoice address delivery address follow up address and other addresses okay so you can add how many address you want based on your needs okay now if i'm adding an other address means i'll add like this other address and i'm not doing anything much saving and closing it one address is added if i want to add one more means that's also possible so i'm adding delivery address for this person so i'll put as delivery address save and close see so this is how you add multiple address or contacts for a single contact now here you have sales and purchase where you have the details of the sales purchase fiscal information point of sale and also miscellaneous details so under the sales you can set a sales person for this contact payment terms and the price list will be uh, taken off that of the parent company and then you have the purchase where you have the buyer payment terms the payment method reception re reminder supply currency everything which is basically related to the purchase and sales which will be done by this customer okay i mean the contact and here you have the point of sale where you can set a barcode for this person and then you have the fiscal information where you can set the fiscal position which is basically for tax mapping and all and then you have the miscellaneous information which is like the citizen identification the reference the website company website tag so here is where you can you know create the website i mean add the website tag so we have created a website tag which is new web tag so that has been added over here and then here you have the sla policies okay so that's the sales and purchase then you have the accounting which will be taken off the parent company and then you have internal notes if you want to add any kind of internal notes for the contact you can add it over here then you have the partner uh, assignment where you have the partner activi activation sorry and the partner review and also geolocation where it takes the uh, i mean it computes the address based on the longitude and the latitude and here you have the partner review you can add the latest partner review the next partner review as well as the partnership date over here you have the partner activation where you can set the partner level so partner levels can be like gold level silver level bronze level and all right so whatever the level is you can add it from here and then you have the commission plan the activation as well as the level weight so all these things can be added under the partner assignment similarly you have the membership so this person can be a free member so if this person should be a free member it means you have to check this and he will be considered as a free member and then you can add the you know membership joining date to the members invoice membership status and so on so if not a free member means you will have this uh, section where you can buy this membership and also associate member can be added towards this person okay so that's the way you create the contact and here you have a lot of smart tabs which is like meetings opportunities sales subscriptions and under more you have the purchases on time rate loyalty cards invoiced vendor bills partner ledger documents direct debit mandates and also go to websites so once you use this contacts in all these areas this count will change okay so that's basically how you create a contact and those are the things which comes under the contact module it is a very simple module with a few details where, where you can easily and effortlessly manage the contacts so yeah that's it so that was all about the contacts module i hope it's clear for you guys and that's how you easily manage contacts of your organization so thank you so much for watching see you in the next video